I'm afraid there's some fairly bad news for the Golden Boys and the Gene Steeler cultists today. Again, Games Workshop seems to have been forced to push back release dates. Their codexes aren't coming until early 2022. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we're just talking a little about the Gene Steeler Cult and the Custodies release, and the recent news that Games Workshop shared via Warhammer Community today, that while Shadow Throne will still be coming in December, that's the versus box between the Custodies and the Gene Steeler Cults, the actual books themselves won't actually be out alongside it now, and instead they're going to be an early 2022 release, I'm guessing that hopefully means January for them both, but I guess that's not confirmed. I was kind of surprised by the news to be honest, as they really didn't announce them all that long ago. I would have thought they'd waited close enough to the time that the releases might be ready, but it would appear that, for whatever reason, they are going to be set just a little bit further back. So the release that Games Workshop had told us for the Custodies and the Gene Stealer Cults was billed for December 2021 alongside Shadow Throne. Shadow Throne is the box set where it's Gene Stealer Cults vs Custodies, and it's a fairly interesting story as it goes, a Gene Stealer Cult coming to light on Holy Terror itself, and the Custodies cracking down with brutal efficient force, and not only wanting to exterminate the cult, but attempt to capture its patriarch intact, to better understand this insidious Xenos menace. We've already covered the contents of the box in a previous video, feel free to give that one a search if you'd like to, but the headline acts are the new Custodes Blade Champion and the Gene Stealer Cult Reductor Saboteur. It seems that they're most likely the only new models that are accompanying these two codexes. Their rules look quite good fun though, and they should add another bit of variety to the army. Previously, the codexes were going to release alongside Shadow Throne, much in the same way that the Grey Knights and the Thousand Sons released alongside Hexfire, but now Games Workshop appears to have rejigged its release schedule. Shadow Throne will still be coming as billed in December, but the codexes won't be until early 2022. I strongly suspect that that means January, though I'd say there's a bit less likelihood of them necessarily releasing on the same day anymore. It might be on two different days. And I like the way they've given themselves a little bit more wiggle room by not even firmly committing to January yet. I'm sure this very much isn't in line with Games Workshop's plans. I'm sure they'll be wanting to release the books as soon as they can, and ideally when they wanted to. I think a few people will be annoyed that they're set back a bit, maybe particularly on the Gene Stealer Court side, who certainly want their codex as soon as possible with how ineffective they are in game right now. But I guess it's better to get the news sooner rather than later. I'm sure if they could release the books for us to buy, then they would as soon as possible. No actual proper reason has been given on Warhammer Community for it, but it kind of stands to reason that it's to do with the ongoing global supply chain disruption post-Covid. Manufacture and shipping of virtually everything has been disrupted to some extent. Obviously that's speculation without knowing Games Workshop's internal processes, but seems at least fairly likely. I must admit, I thought it was an interesting move to bring out two Warhammer 40k codexes in December. They usually tend to leave December as a relatively light month codex-wise. They have quite a lot going on, the second half of the month is kind of taken up by Christmas, so is a bit of downtime, and the first half is often rather dominated with the release of their Christmas Battle Force box sets, which they did confirm are coming on Thursday. I'll be covering any news that we get of them on the channel that day if I can. I guess maybe they didn't mind about releasing two of them here, just because, as they go, they are slightly more minor factions within 40k. Both very cool factions, but just not played by quite as many people. Genes to the Colts in particular are a fairly niche army, and you don't see them about on the table as much as some of the others. Custodies maybe have a fair few more players, but still their codex is somewhat simplistic. They have more models that are made by Forge World than ones that are actually made by Games Workshop. Still though, I was rather looking forward to reviewing these. Shame that's all going to have to be delayed until early 2022. I'm really interested to see some of the new combos, and in particular the shenanigans that the new Genes to the Colts might get up to. This delay does seem a little bit of a mirror to last year's Death Guard delay. Again, that one was billed for December. They released really quite a lot of rumours and rules previews for them, and then suddenly delayed the codex until January. To be honest, I'm just a tiny bit surprised they maybe didn't learn the lessons a little bit more from that. I thought after the quite lengthy delays for things like Admech and Sisters this year, they'd actually caught up with their own release schedule again, and were getting things out as planned. As a knock-on consequence of this, I can't help but think that Tower almost guaranteed to be pushed back a bit now. That big rumour leak from a while back, that had them build at January. But if these two are going to be coming out in January, I think it's a bit unlikely Games Workshop's going to release three codexes in a month. I'd be expecting February for them at the earliest. Until then though, it does sound like we're going to be getting at least our hands on a few rules out of these books. Because Shadow Throne does come out in December, that means that we will for definite have the rules for the Blade Champion and the Reductor Saboteur, so we should be able to review them to some extent, 
though it will be kind of annoying not to know them in the context of all of the options and stratagems within the new books. As well as this, they usually do tend to include the data sheets for the models that are in their boxes these days. And as the Custodes and Gene Stiller Golds in the box were going to be coming out at the same time as the Codexes, I can't help but think that the data sheets are likely to be the new ones, so we'll get to see any new big stat changes for the Custodes and the Gene Stealer Colts. I think that should be good for a few nice teasers of what is to come. Custodes, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they gained an extra wounds to make them just feel that bit more tough than things like Primaris. The Colts certainly feel like they need something. It might be interesting to see if the actual Gene Stealer profile itself is reimagined. Of course, Tyranids haven't had their 9th edition decks yet, so that might give a clue as to what's going to come for them whenever they do eventually get their 9th edition book. Finally, Games Workshop also say that there's going to be some rules previews coming out for both factions at least some point later in the year. I guess that could be kind of similar to what we got with the Death Guard last year. They told us things like the new Disgustingly Resilient rule and a bunch of rules previews out of the Codex, even though the actual Codex itself wasn't going to release for quite a while. I think perhaps some people get a bit frustrated with rules being drip-fed a bit, but personally I quite like the idea of gradually getting to know the new codex one change at a time, and by the time the book's actually out, you do have a pretty decent idea of how they're actually going to function. Finally, I thought we'd just do a quick roundup of what we know so far about the release. Again, I have talked about this before in previous videos. Shadow Thrones, the big box set that's likely going to be the same price as Hexfire, or the Sisters vs. Dracari one, Piety and Pain, most likely £105 or $170. On the Custodius front, you get the Blade Champion, three Terminators and five Sisters of Silence, and for the Gene Stealers, you get the Patriarch, Magus Primus and Neophytes, and the new Reductor Saboteur, basically the Brood Coven kit with a Neophyte kit and the new character. The discount seems kind of okay, around about 37% compared with separately, maybe a little bit less than a few of these other Versus boxes, maybe kind of in line with a Start Collecting kit. I think it's fairly solid for the Custodius forces, for the Gene Stealer Colt, maybe good for starting a cult, but not very good for people who already have collections, as you're quite likely to have the core characters already. Finally, rules-wise, the Blade Champion seems to be a Lieutenant level Custodes, perhaps not giving any buffs, but just being a bit of a combat monster. A mighty 6 attacks on his base profile, and he can hit with 3 different blows, should kill around 6 Guardsmen, 3 or 4 Space Marines, kill a Space Marine Captain, or do around 8 wounds to a Toughness 7 vehicle, so you kind of can't really th go too far wrong throwing him into the enemy. And he's got a bunch of handy champion style rules, similar to what the Emperor's Champion got. Always fights first, and a 6 inch heroic intervention is quite a nice combo. Finally, the Reductor Saboteur has some remote explosives. They function like a shooting attack with strength 8, AP minus 3, and damage 1. Though if you're blowing up vehicles or monsters, it's damage 3 instead. You can also lay down a mine that could give a bit of area denial. Could be quite fun to push on an objective. Again, it's very much anti-vehicle and monster focused, so she's going to be particularly strong against those, and less so against the standard rank and file. She's also got a bit of more defence, minus one to hit at range, and hard to shoot in area terrain, and I do kind of wonder whether those might be a bit more generalised rules to the Gene Stealer cult characters. Overall, we're not going to be able to say whether they're good or not without the points cost, but the rules both seem really quite good fun, and I'm sure they'll be a blast to use on the table regardless. So perhaps not the best news for the Custodes and the Gene Stealer Colts, but hopefully we might have a few rules previews coming, and I'll most certainly cover them on the channel if we get anything from Warhammer Community. If you'd like to see more, or my reviews of the Codexes when we do eventually have them, feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics, where I'll certainly try and keep up with the news of any Games Workshop's rules or releases. Finally, if you have been enjoying the videos on the channel, I would just like to mention one way in which you can help support, which is my Element Games affiliate link down in the video description below. If you live in the UK and you are thinking about picking up any Warhammer models in the near future, Element sells them at 10-20% below Games Workshop's prices, so it can be quite a nice way to save money if you're ordering stuff in. If you did click on the link and buy anything through them, a small amount goes to help support Allspets Tactics, and it doesn't cost you any more whatsoever when you buy. Could just be something to consider if you were picking up something anyway. For people over in the USA and Canada, I do have quite a similar Amazon link as well. That one works with just basically any purchase on Amazon. Again, can potentially be a way to help support the channel on things that you are buying anyway. A massive thank you to you guys who have been using those, and a big thank you for listening to the video. I'll most certainly hope to see you guys next time.